Jessie Ware. Hello. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, I know this is the first time you've, you've actually done your whole set acoustically, is that right? You've sort of done it specially for ASOS? Yeah, it was like, well, I just thought, I thought I'd become like the Debbie Downer of the house party and be that room that nobody wants to go in. Mm -hmm. well, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, no, I just thought that I always play live with all my band, and it's always very electronic, and I thought I'd strip it back. And I've never ever played with str um, strings before, so that was really special. And we thought it'd be nice for ASOS. And also, I did a few songs that I've never performed acoustically before. And there was also um, a new track that you performed today, which is quite exciting. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that and where that's planning to sort of go in the future? It's a song that I wrote um, with a guy called uh, Paul Buchanan, and it was a song about missing someone that I love and and to have strings on it today. I mean, it's really is a demo form, so it's completely like, I'm still working it out. So having the strings on it, it was great. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have, I'll have that bit. Great, <laughs> brilliant. But yeah, I don't even have a title for it at the moment. So it's just called The Encore Song, because that's what it was called. What are the songs like that from the album? Like, Wildest Moments? Was that, because that's obviously the kind of one, the biggest, the biggest moments. Yeah, it was actually quite an easy song to write. And I'm really glad that, I mean, I've just been on tour in the States and I've been on tour everywhere. and that's the one that I feel like everyone wants to sing back at you the most, which yeah. is lovely. Just one thing that um, I noticed on the internet the other day, which was kind of uh, funny, is it's been used in an advert yeah. for... Lube. Lube. Oh, it's a lube, so it's not, it's for Durex Lube. Durex Lube. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, how did that, how did that come <laughs> about? <laughs> Good. Um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's Sorry, excellent. I, I really have, that was those... great. Um, uh, uh, I, they asked me if I'd like to be, at Wild Moments to be in the Durex advert, and I was like, absolutely. I, I always I always talked about it in my interviews, always being like, I want people to make out to my music, have sex to it. Hopefully it can be like that kind of music. So when the Durex came along, I was like, absolutely, yes. Um, I know you've got fans all over the world, but some of them are unusually famous, like Russell, I was gonna get it wrong, Brand Crow, Crow, Russell Crow, Crow is, a, is a fan. I, he started tweeting about me and I, I didn't follow him, but people were like, you know, adding me being like, Russell Crowe's talking about you. And he was like, oh, we can't, can't keep the girl dancing on her own because of what a song called, you know, Dancing on My Own or whatever. Um, never gonna move. And, uh, and then I was like, you know, as you do, like, thanks Russell, at Russell Crowe. And then he wrote back and he was like, you've got a gift, keep it up. And I was like, right, cool, okay. Sick. Yeah. So then went to Sydney and played and was just being an opportunist. So I was like, hi Russell, would you like to come to my show in Sydney? And then he was like, yes. I was like, oh shit, right, okay. <laughs> so I met him after, he was lovely. Wow. And then he's come to my, he came to my show in Somerset House, met my mum. Oh wow. Gives me a big hug, being a nice guy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's just a really, run, you would never picture Russell Crowe sitting down chilling I would never, Ware. no, I, Who I, knew? it was, yeah, it was a bit of a pinch yourself moment. Some star questions, because you're a stylish lady. Oh, thanks. You are a very stylish lady. You know what, I'm sort, of, I'm sort of sensing a look in general. The crop top thing is, is your, has become like a Jesse Ware thing, I know. Right? No, it's great. Uh, nah, I think, you what? know what, there's going to get to an age where I'm like, crop top has to go. Yeah, so I'm just kind of milking away. it for as long as possible away. before I have children and I can't <laughs> do crop tops. So, um, yeah, no, I definitely, I wear loads of black, yeah. loads of gold. I like a good polo neck. Mm. Um, Big hoops, I like. I, I can't leave the house without yeah, gold yeah, yeah. hoops. We've got to wrap up soon, so just before we go, look, any, any sort of plans for 2014? We're sort of going into Christmas 2013. I know it's been a massive year for you. Hopes for the sort of next next few months, next year? Um, writing the album, I, I, I just, maybe I'm impatient. I don't think so. Yes, I am impatient. I'm the most impatient person I know. Um, but I just, I, I want to be back with new music next year. So I'll write the album early next year um, and then probably do some touring at the end of the year. Okay, back on yeah. the road. Yeah, ma'am. Nice one. Well, thank you very much for today. It was thank absolutely you. wicked to see you perform those tracks thank and we'll you. catch you again soon. All right, thanks.